there guys welcome back to another episode of Daz on Film and as always if you're new here please hit that little subscribe button and the little notification bell to keep up to date with all my content so anyway today's video is a special occasion a celebration you might say because today as of May 9th Friday the 13th the original movie turns 40 years old and it's funny a movie riding on the coattails of Halloween would go on to define the 80s I mean Jason Voorhees if you think of the 80s and you think of 80s horror, you think of Jason Voorhees, you think of Freddy Krueger. So it's funny, a movie that was originally designed as a Halloween knockoff just to cash in on Halloween would go on to spawn an iconic franchise, one of the most iconic characters in horror movie history. And the franchise is still going today. We had the uh, video game a few years ago. Right now, there's still a legal dispute going on. And I believe once that's resolved, then they'll get cracking with the 13th movie because how the hell can you have Friday the 13th franchise and not make a 13th movie? I mean, come on, do it! Do it! And one thing I want to settle in this video is, is it ki 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 ma ma ma? Or chi 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 ha ha ha? So yeah, let's listen, let's see what it sounds like. See, that just sounds like chi 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 ha 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 to me. But anyway, it's one of those things. It's gonna be ongoing until the end of time. So anyway, let's get on with my experiences with this movie. I mean, this is not the first Friday the 13th movie I saw. The first one, I remember, I was about seven years old. I was round at my friend's house and um, so we, caught, we closed all the curtains. And um, it was actually Friday the 13th part six, Jason Lives. So that was the first one I saw. And I remember watching it and I was just thinking, my God, this is awesome. And uh, to this day, that one is one of my favorites, part six, Jason Lives. And I, I watched a couple others, but not the original one. And then um, I finally went to what we call here in England a car boot sale. But in America, I think they call swap meets. So one of those kind of things where people just sell the used stuff. And uh, I was looking around there with my mum and my auntie and we found a VHS, VHS stall. Um, and in there, I found the original Friday the 13th. So I was like, oh man. I really want to watch this so I said mum mum buy me this and uh, we bought it and uh, we took it back to my auntie's because we were we would visit my auntie at that time so uh, we took it back there we watched it and obviously seeing some of the other ones the ending where it's Mrs Voorhees that wasn't really a twist because I already knew that spoiler but it didn't stop it scaring the living you know what out of me especially the ending with Alice in the boat and the nice music playing la 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 and then Jason comes out Whoa! that made me jump out of my skin when I was about seven eight and then we thought it was funny me and my cousins because we were all watching it together me and my cousins thought it was great and anybody who'd not seen it would shout them into the room no come on come on come in here and um, we'd rewind that bit to when she was in the boat and the nice music were playing you know where Jason comes out of the water everybody would jump out of the skin because we were all young kids at that point and another point that's interesting and worth mentioning is the uh, snake kill. I know that's infamous now, but that's actually a real snake dying in there. I'm not going to put it in respect for the snake. R.I.P. snake. Rest in peace, buddy. R.I.P. snake. Apparently a guy just brung his snake to set, threw it down and said, you know, kill my snake and somebody macheted it. It's crazy that that's in the film. But another interesting point is that a lot of slasher movies and horror movies back then used to feature unknown people that would go on to become stars so like Jamie Lee Curtis was obviously in Halloween and then in this one we've got none other than Mr Footloose, Mr Kevin Bacon himself which is interesting when you look back on it now and I know Nightmare on Elm Street had Johnny Depp and you know there were a few other movies with people in like that. Another interesting tidbit is that after this movie Adrian King who played Alice would then have a real life stalker I mean he would stalk her, he would follow her when she was exercising and stuff like that apparently and apparently he used to take Polaroids of her and post it under a door in a New York apartment which is freaky I mean just imagine sat there watching TV you know scratching your ass and the next minute a damn Polaroid comes under the door and it's a picture of somebody watching you I mean that's straight out of a horror movie in itself and apparently one day he turned up with a with a gun at her apartment and held it to her head and then you know after that she was like that's it I'm out no more movies for me and apparently she faded out of the limelight a little bit and she's even taken advantage of her screen queen status and I know she's come out with a, a line of wines called Crystal Lake Wines so that's interesting I mean I might have to buy one of those get one of those in for Daz on film you know open a, a bottle of wine me drinking wine talking about movies as if my videos weren't bad enough already I might even uh, drink some wine who knows that could be an interesting video 
So Adrian King, if you want to send Daz on film some wine, then please send me some. I'm a big Friday the 13th fan. I have been since I was a little kid. And I would appreciate a case of wine, please. Thank you. So yeah, I mean, this was just a quick video on Friday the 13th just to celebrate it turning 40 years old. It's crazy to me. It still feels like yesterday when I was watching it and it was still relatively new. So this is me, Daz on film, giving Friday the 13th some love. Love you. So if you love Friday the 13th as well, then please leave some comments and let me know your experiences with Friday the 13th. I'd love to read them. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out. I'm still a pauper channel. I'm still a small, minuscule channel on the internet, you know, just ranting to a camera. So if you could give me a like, I'd really appreciate that. And if you like what you see, then subscribe and I'll catch you later. Ciao.